When it comes to pasture management, it's easy to be an afterthought. We're going to talk with Tim Schnockenberg, Regional Extension Specialist with University of Missouri. Tim, what are some of the best management practices we can look at for pasture management? One of the greatest best management practices for pasture is to uh, set up a managed intensive grazing system. And that would allow us to have cattle on the move all the time, getting the best quality forage and then moving on to another good quality forage uh, paddock at the same time leaving a period of time for rest for that pasture to regrow and thicken up and, and uh, be ready for the next time they're grazing. One thing that we run into with management intensive grazing is we have too much forage at times. It comes on so fast we can't get cattle cycled through the system quick enough to keep it under control and that's where uh, a hay operation or a wrap baleage operation can be uh, beneficial to reset those pastures and get them back to a vegetative growing status to where they uh, will be in better shape going into the next grazing cycle. Any other best management practices for pastures? There's always a, a careful attention when it comes to soil testing and determining how much nitrogen is needed on, on these pastures, when to put it on, whether to use it for a fall stockpile. Then we also need to watch our weed control very closely because it can get out of hand in a hurry. Thanks, Tim, good information. With the Making Hay Minute, I'm Brian Setzer. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Making Hay Minute. Please check out some of these other videos or find us at makinghay.com.